Hey there, everyone. This is Al Galbling Maggle 4 Maggle Level 4. This is weird, just ending after the L. Lu Lunar Rainbow Shy Guy. The This one that we're gonna be playing today. Oh, I made my leap. Level to the left. When I tested this, I found it boring waiting on the screen. So you should. <laughs> wow. I get to read this text I've never read before. Truly a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. So, no invincible lives this time, huh? You just gotta go to the laundromat. Yeah, that's fine. That makes it easier to count lives if that becomes an issue. Here we go! Ride that shell, then the muncher's gonna go like beep, beep, beep all the time. Yeah, I've been wondering, because like, 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 you know, uh, Lion's level had like this map that looked like it continues. I was wondering if there was gonna be like this continuous map, but no, so to go left, you go left, and you go left, and you go left. What happens if I go right, do you think? Does it crash the game? Nope, it's just Yoshi's Island 2. Alright, here we go, Spine Stone Cave. Spines? Stones? A cave? Everything. Oh, the momentum. This is game. You, you just go so much faster than Smabat. Well, there's there's Jugum, also known as Lakitu, the owner of this. There you go, Spiny. The Spiny and the Spine Stone Cave. How merciless. Alright, here we go. I'm going to. Oh, oh Thwomp made the guy change his mind about his opportunity is to own a haberdashery. Don't let Lakitu dictate what business ventures you're interested in, buddy. Like, come on, man. Believe in yourself a little bit. So, I'm feeling like I'm detecting a pattern in how this level is constructed. Uh, it's very subtle. <laughs> it's it's very subtle, this uh, sort of... I mean, you can make a case that it's doing that on purpose, you know? It's just like, yeah, you know, we... We got this pattern, and we're, we are uh, iterating on this pattern. You know, just trying more and more variables, but... Uh, this might be iterating on a slightly too micro of a level. As, wow, you are, you are doing this thing a lot. Hey, look at that, there's the coin, and there's the guy, and then there's the coin guy. Yeah, that's right, you saw that. Well, all right, you know what? This level's cute. This is a level you might encounter in a cold lab. It's just kind of like there in the middle, like World 3. You're just gonna boop, bop, boop, bop, boop, and you make your way through, and it's cool. It's a refresher. Like, I see what you're doing. Like, it is meant to be a, you know, an elaboration on a pattern, and you re-explore it in a different way, in a different way. I just think that maybe the elaboration is a bit too minute from one another. And, uh, I think I'm gonna do a second level. Sorry, you don't get to be the full superstar today. Alright, well, 30th place by Them's All Took, Alex Diener on YouTube. Go watch his things. I love his channel. We have very similar tastes in games. Whoa! Prince Stoadstool is missing again. Looks like Bowser is at it again. Unbelievable and un thinkable there's Yoshi house and there's not oh not that one is Yoshi house different in any way now I know for a fact that this is this person's first attempt at a smooth so let's see what that's gonna look like trial of pillars uh, all right that's an exciting name if anything all right grassy we got that guy going on here all right here we go mushroom in the corner little bapo oh that's a Oh, hi! Uh-huh. I doubt you would ask of me to do a Yoshi jump? But you need Yoshi here. Uh, not Yoshi, a shell jump. But how else do you get that guy down? That silly, silly horse. Invisible blocks anywhere? Maybe you do, because like, you look at this... And you need to do a Yoshi jump over there, like, to be able to survive. Um... Really? Uh, it's been so long, though, since I made one of these. I am also, I can't play the game, apparently. That's not helping. Really? 
tell you though, is that's what like what else would it be? You got this little turtle there. Trial of pillars. Like unless it's like some silly like. Okay. It's not a shell jump. Okay, everything changed. This is one of those magical shells that transform into a chicken. I was not considering that. All right, buddy. Yeah, you're gonna jump up here. Now you're gonna give me a helpful boost. That makes a lot more sense. I mean, does it make more sense? Uh, makes more sense if you don't think about it. All right, leave it at that. All right, so then you go like, uh, pop, then you, yo, oh, mushroom pop up. What my leap here, and now I got a feather. I did not look where I was going afterwards. Uh, I was just ducking by instinct, and instincts were helpful. All right, hey, the great platforms all came back using magic. All right, okay, so, whop, here we go. Yeah, magic balloons. None of them here. Okay, all right, no, okay, yeah, I knew the pollen was still going around. Bag it on. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, another feather. Okay, so this time, let's take a while to observe. I'm not sure what I'm observing. <laughs> like, would you need to fly? There's a lot of them. Um... Yeah, I think you want me to do this so that I can do that. Yeah. See, it's the double double signs kind of spell it out a little bit. You don't put so many signs with an arrow on it. Unless it means something to you, personally. Do you, what kind of flight do you want from me here? Cause yeah, that doesn't quite go high enough. Um... I mean, I can do- Oh boy. This has been a bit- Oh, uh, okay, so... Whoosh... Nope, I am not getting my climb on here. Ugh. There's a hole here, of course, to freak you out. Why are you, is it because I'm- my face is rubbing against a wall that I'm not getting, like, any air at all? Maybe. Yeah, I think it is. I need to get to that midpoint before my time runs out. Okay, here we go. Uh, uh well, the jump didn't jump, so I'm not getting that dagger on, but I know it's there. I acknowledge its presence. Hey! Whoop, the jump didn't jump. Hey! <laughs> this is neat, though! This feels real, real interesting. Alright. So, I don't have a feather anymore, so maybe that's good. Jump didn't jump. This is an issue with me and... and Smoo. Oh, you don't give provide a life anything at all, though. I might give myself a fake uh, midpoint using save state, if you don't mind. Um, next time I die... Oh, jeez. Whoosh. Uh, where? Okay. Yeah, so right here, I'm gonna put a save because... Saving the thing I got. Uh, whoa, check it out. Check it out. Wow! Chuck it up there and kill that guy, but... <sighs> Alright, well, that was a pretty good use of my stored, powered up, power up, very well stored, I don't know what's down there, so... Let's just... okay. Then you do a mighty leap here, and hope there's floor, hope there's floor, there's floor. Oh, there's floor, but no more. Oh, what does this mean? Um... Like, is that what you're supposed to do? Are you supposed to, like, fly it? Flight change? That super effective mechanic? Maybe. Ah, oh, dude. Because, yeah, you can't, like, that's why there's these rocks on the ground here. It's so that you can't, uh, just fly. Oh, though, if you can make that to happen. Alright, hey, hey! 
honestly, if this is your actual first attempt at smooth making, this was fantastic. It's very, very mechanics-based, which knowing what I know about you does not surprise me in the slightest. So you got these weird jumping mechanics. I don't know, figure it out. It's just, it's just unfortunate, the five life thing, so that's why I put a save. I hope you're not upset. Oh, that was really cool. Like, honestly, I, I would be curious to see more smooth stuff from you, because this honestly felt really, really good. Very, very uh, vanilla outputs today. But I'm suing, seeing very, very different approaches. Um, yeah, no, this felt real nice. This was real cool.